Hello YouTube, my name is Brucey, and among other things I do, I off-road this Subaru Outback a good bit on video, and I realize I've never made a video talking about the VDC and X mode, and when and how to use it. So let's get started. So what is VDC? It's a computer system in Subarus made to help you stop from doing this. It can control each individual brake to keep the car pointed in the right direction. Think about the sled you may have rode when you were a kid. You'd pull one brake on one side to point the sled in the direction you wanted to go. The VDC system came out in 2001 for Subaru and became standard in 2009, but this system is meant for on-road control and not off-road assistance. Here is a simple test that I've used to show the problem. Pay attention to the front left and rear right wheel as this test happens. So what's happening there is pretty technical. I'll link an article that I found that does a pretty good job explaining it, but it is applicable to off-road situations. Here is a different Subaru having the same issue. Be sure to watch these same wheels again. This phenomenon is not limited to just Subaru vehicles. Here is a Toyota FJ Cruiser, which is generally considered to be an excellent off-road vehicle. Let's see what happens. Now, manufacturers have figured out a long time ago how to solve this problem, either through a limited slip differential or a locking differential. Uh, check out this Suburban. Pretty cool, huh? Did you see both wheels engage? Rewind it if you didn't. That Suburban is equipped with an automatically locking rear differential. Some vehicles, like the FJ Cruiser, have a manually selectable locking differential. So what has Subaru done to stop the diagonal spin? Mechanically, nothing really. They have a limited slip that doesn't seem to work well. This car is equipped with it and you can see how well it works here. And other than that, they have an electronic system based off their VDC system called X-Mode. I'm not sure how or why they called it X-Mode. I'm not sure what it stands for, but I do know what it does, and this is showing off what it does. Pay attention to this wheel. What the car is doing there is breaking each individual wheel to send power to the wheel that has the most grip. You can see it again in action here, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of what X mode is and what VDC is, and now we're going to talk about when to use it. So in this clip I was still learning the vehicle. I had X mode on and I also had VDC on. I can tell because there is very little, if any, wheel slipping happening before the car shoots itself into the air. Turning on X mode is pretty easy. Find the little button that says X mode with the car going over some rough terrain and hit that button. To turn on and off VDC, Find the button with a car showing some tire skids and hit that button. So all that to say, if you want tires to spin, turn VDC off. If you want all four tires to spin, turn X mode on.
for those lucky enough to have dual X mode equipped on their vehicles, it's my understanding that this second step of disabling VDC but leaving X mode on is the second dual X mode. So if you have any info on that, I'd love to hear it. One extra thought before I close out. This is a deliberately simplified explanation and not very technical. There are other things that these systems do, but I didn't want to get into the nitty gritty because I've done a better job of explaining that in other videos. Hope this video helps somebody, and thanks for helping us enjoy another day in West Virginia.